Hi, good morning. Thanks all for all coming this morning. My name is Guy Annable and I'm running as a registered candidate in College Ward 8. To start some housekeeping notes, there will be a Q&A after the presentation and you can address your questions to any of the speakers to reply at the podium. When we finish the Q&A, the speakers will be available for one-on-one -on -one interviews and the B-roll of the train clips of the famous one train a week from Armprior will be available to all media. We are here three days before the 2014 Ottawa Municipal Election to discuss not a new idea, but one that was re-energized in this campaign. I'm going to get right to the speakers so that you can hear their vision. Today is one for good ideas that just make sense and have vision, a simple vision of using existing rail infrastructure on some of the western transit issues that face Ottawa. Ready to be ripped for DND to move in in sh four short years and to get a train from CARP to transfer at Bayview to LRT1, you could basically take a train as far as CARP to Blair Road in as little as four or five years. We have four speakers today, each of them who have a depth of knowledge as to the vision which is totally complementary to LRT Phase 1, 2 and 3. And these speakers form the community of the National Capital Engineers and Knowledge Workers. They would like to give their two cents on using existing rail infrastructure that is currently very underutilized in the City of Ottawa. We hope to change that. Five above grade bridges, rail bed tracks, switches, established and already environmentally assessed rights of way that have been part of your community for over 40 years. A rail line runs through the heart of my ward and is actually the ward boundary line between my ward and Keith's ward. We need LRT for the core, but we can use commuter rail for rural and suburb areas and use what we already have invested in and built on what is sitting there not being used in a very short time frame and on a proven existing equipment platform like the O-Train. In this clip, the B-roll the media wishes to use to post this event, this is the only train once a week that travels from the Rideau Yards through the city to Armprior and returns once a week. A three-car freight train that is the benefactor of this huge infrastructure investment. Ottawa is the only city in North America that does not use existing commuter rail infrastructure to transport its citizens into the city. You need light rail in the core. Again, this is not disruptive to LRT Phase 1, 2 or 3. But with the resounding success of the already proven O-Train, it just makes sense. Now I'll throw to the speakers, Mr. Joseph Podfan, President and CEO of the Moose Consortium. Joseph will speak to the same concept. Thank you, Joseph. 